What's up, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Andrew Moulin, five-year pro, uh, played in England, played in Germany, played in the U.S. And today I'm going to be breaking down outside midfielders for you guys because last week we did uh, center defensive mids. The week before that we did center attacking mids. This week, by popular demand on my Instagram page, we have been... Um, <clears throat> I have been told to do outside mids, guys. So today I'm going to be breaking down outside mids and how you can play outside mid much, much better, guys. Because right now, a lot of the players that I'm working with, a lot of the one-on-one -on -one clients I have who are outside mids, I see a lot of the same things. And I'm going to break it down for you today of what I do with them, okay? So today we're going to be talking about width, strengths, and movement. And the reason that the arrows are there is because each one of these plays into the next one, okay? So if you have more width, if you have more width, then you can use your strength more. You can use your strengths more. When I get the ball, if I have width and I have space between um, the defender, now obviously I can dribble more. I can pass easier with, with less pressure. I can shoot if I have the opportunity. I can cross if I have the opportunity. If I have better width, which is you know a simpler term for, uh, for my positioning or my spacing, then my strengths can now be used better okay once my strengths are used better then now i can add movement to it and now when i add movement to it now you're going to see an absolutely completely different player you're going to be an absolutely different human being um the movement is based on your strengths right so it goes they all go together you have to have all three okay you have to have width or your positioning has to be good your strengths have to be uh they have to work to your strengths and the movement has to come to your strengths as well. Okay. So that's where the, the strengths is where you work on your ball mastery, where you work on your one V one, where you work on all those different things. That's where your strengths are guys. Okay. So I want you guys to write this down. You guys, whenever you guys watch my videos, whenever you guys watch my analysis videos, always have pen and paper ready. Write this, write this uh, phrase down. Keep your strengths in mind and create space and time to execute them. That is it guys. That is it. Um, so before we get started, Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now so that you guys know or, or so you guys can be informed whenever I drop a new video. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you can be the first one to watch. Okay, so let's hop into the video. Okay, guys, we are in the video now. Just real quick before we even start the clip, remember the three things. Remember width, strengths, and movement. So if you look right here, look at how wide everyone is boom two center backs outside the outside backs out here these are the two center defensive mids the center attacking mid and here's the four uh, the other center attacking mid the forwards up here you see that when you when you bring width to the game there's two things that happen when you bring width to the game okay so when you have this width right here you have you make you make him have to make a decision if he goes out here great we just play the ball in here if he stays in here then we just play it out here so you're creating a situation where the defender has to make a decision when you are playing the game of soccer, you should be asking the questions. They should be giving you the answers. And based on their answer, you should move different. Okay. So if he goes out here, perfect. Now we can play in here. Now we're, we're making the defender have to make a decision. Once he makes that decision, we can do the opposite. Right. So that's why width is so important. I've broken it down for you guys. Super simple. Get width. Once you get width, it causes them to have to make a decision and we can do the opposite of what their decision is. Okay, so let's play the film. So you see the width here, you see the width. And this situation doesn't come off, but you can see what they're trying to do. They get super wide. And once they get super wide, now the players in the middle can move as well. And it causes a lot more, a lot more stress and tension for the defense. Once you, once you get width, once you, once you get a good starting position, then you can make decisions based off that. Again, you see width, you see Right here, you can see it better here. There's two things you have to do as, a, as an outside mid, okay? There's two things you have to do, okay? First and foremost, no matter who you are on the field, no matter what, the, what position you play, goalkeeper, forward, outside, back, what doesn't matter. You have to keep the ball, number one. You have to keep the ball. So this is a skill that you guys can learn right here. You see them. He, okay, in this situation, it gets fouled, but you have to understand 
And that, that's a form of keeping the ball, right? That's a form of keeping the ball. But in this situation, you have to be able to hold the ball up as if you're a forward sometimes. Sometimes the ball comes to you and it's not a great ball. You have to be able to hold it up, whether you're a forward, a goalkeeper, uh, a left back, outside back. You have to train this. You guys should be training this all the time, whether it's you and your friend and you're hitting against the wall and now you have to hold it up against them. Or if you have if you have two friends, if you're super popular and you have two friends, then one's holding, one's holding, one's playing you guys the ball and now you can hold it up. You have to train this. Every single player must have this basic, basic uh, understanding of how to hold the ball up because this is a situation where you have to keep the ball, right? You have to keep the ball in this situation. Again, you see width, you see width, you have to open the field up. Okay. Now I want you guys to see this movement. Okay. And this is going to be the last part of the video, this movement, and you guys got to be able to work with your outside backs, right? So in this situation, watch this movement, okay? See if you can if you can identify all three of the things that I was talking about at the beginning. Can you identify the width? Can you identify the strengths? Can you identify the movement, right? So right now you can see that there's absolutely no one wide right now, okay? And you're going to see this right here. This is super, super interesting and an unbelievable run. When the ball comes out wide, okay? This is the outside back right here. Okay, so so they've done a whole switcheroo, right? So in this situation, this is the center mid. This is the left back. This is the left mid. Okay, now watch their movements here. Watch their movements. He goes wide and look at this movement. As he comes in, he comes in and goes out. Okay, why? Because this is based on his strengths. Now he's gonna play the ball in here and now he's in, okay? Based on his strengths, the movement has to be on point. And once he gets in there, now he can, you know, it doesn't come off. But that movement, I'll go over it one more time with you guys. The movement aspect, you see right here, again, does he make the defender have to make a decision? Watch. He's gonna, he starts here. There's no decision to be made because he's already defending him. So what does he do? He comes out here. Once he comes out here, now someone, one of these guys, him or him, have to make a decision. Once that happens, then he can come in here and go out there. Watch this again. This is a great movement. Um, and now he comes in because why? Because the center mid comes in here. And now at this point, he can go, go over, over the top. Watch this one more time. Great movement. Great movement guys. So, so just recapping real quick before we go, I want you guys to get these three things out of it. Okay. With starting position, make sure that you get wide first. Once you get wide, it causes the defender to have to make a decision. You want the defender to make the decisions. You're asking the questions. They're making the decisions. And once they make that decision, you have to do the opposite. Once you do the opposite, make sure it's based on your strengths. If I'm a, if I'm a, a, a smaller outside mid, maybe I'm not going to check back as much because I don't want to get, I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get tackled. Okay. If you're not necessarily like a dribbling outside, outside mid, when I play outside mid, I'm just, I'm more of a one, two touch. You know, I, I like to get crosses in. I like to use my movement at, rather than my feet. I play to my strengths. I stay very wide. When I receive the ball, I, I look up almost play like a center defensive mid, but outside back. That's, that's my, that's how I play. Figure out your strengths. Okay. And then the last one is the movement. Your movement needs to be based on your strengths. So if I'm going to run in behind, I need to make sure I'm, I'm probably flat fast, right? If I'm, if I'm a slower outside mid, then I'm probably not going to run uh, in behind as much. So make sure you guys know what your strengths are. Okay. Once you have your strengths, then make sure you stay wide, make sure you make the, the defender make a decision. And then off that decision, you guys can make uh, your decision based on your strengths. Okay. I, I guys, I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions about this, if there's anything about this, you don't understand, hit the comments, hit the comments. I, I get back to every single comment. So make sure you guys hit the comments. And lastly, make sure you subscribe and send to one teammate. Make sure you send this to the outside mid on your team. And guys, I really appreciate it. And next week we will be doing another position. So make sure you guys tune in, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.